Hi, in this video we are going to discuss about the written proof of T. Morgan's law and this is the part one. We have already learned how to prove these laws or identities using Venn diagrams and now we are going to discuss about the written proof of these identities, right? So the first identity or law says the complement of A union B is equal to A complement A intersection B complement, right? So this is the first law and if we take the left hand side and assume that X is an element of A union B complement. So from here we can say that X will not be an element of A union B, right? Since it is an element of the complement set of A union B, it will not be an element of A union B. And since it is not an element of A union B that means it is not an element of A and it is not an element of B right since it is not there in their union it will not be in any of the sets right so X is not in A and X is not in B that means X is definitely there in A complement. If X is not in A, it has to be there in A complement and X has to be there in B complement also, right? So if it is there in A complement and B complement, it will definitely be there in their intersection. That means X will be an element of A complement A intersection B complement, right? So here we have got X is an element of A union B complement and here we have arrived to a situation where we could prove that X is an element of A complement and B complement. That means A union B complement is equal to A complement A intersection B complement, right? And now let's prove the second part or the second law on the right hand side. The second law says a intersection B whole complement is equal to A complement union B complement, right? Again, we'll assume X as one of the elements of A intersection B complement. If X is the element of A intersection B complement, that means X is definitely not an element of A intersection B. If X is not the element of A intersection B, there are the possibilities that X is not an element of A or X is not an element of B, right? That means X is an element of A dash or it is an element of B dash, right? If X is not an element of A or X is not an element of B, that means it is either in A complement or it is there in B complement, right? That means X is definitely there in A complement union B complement. If it is in any of these A complement or B complement, it will definitely be there in the union of A complement and B complement. Right? That means from here we could prove that A intersection B whole complement is actually equal to A complement union B complement. Right? So this is the written proof of these two laws or the first two De Morgan's law. Right? And after this we have the second part of the written explanation of rest of the De Morgan's law. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.